Hi guys and welcome back to another video tutorial here at Rachel Productions. This is a follow on from my tutorial which I posted up recently, Blender Cycles 2.7 Volumetric Light Through Window. I basically just wanted to uh, clear up some things that some of you might have been having a problem with. Um, you'll remember at the end of the tutorial I explained to you how to just add a box with an aperture and an aerial lamp inside. Uh, now some of you might have had a problem getting the shadows to show up so I've uh, re-rendered this whole thing and uh, this is the uh, result and what I did was um, I made the two left windows uh, have less light coming through so that you can just see the ability to control the individual lights um, and the rays as well which are less dim and the projected light onto the ground as well this probably could be a little dimmer um, relating to the light there but anyway that gives you the idea I moved the plant which uh, I got from Blend Swap Potomo 16 a nice model there, I moved it to the center and in this way we can see the uh, shadows alright so let's just have a look at uh, how we went about this um, let me go into the node editor and uh, basically all I did was um, I added another three um, boxes with the apertures and the area lamps for each individual ray or uh, window um, and uh, then all I did was I uh, set the um, uh, window uh, emission uh, strength to be 1 as opposed to the one on the right which was 25 so that we have a brighter uh, array on that side and of course on the uh, other left one as well I set that to 1 as well and then the lamps if we go into the lamp properties the area lamp here the strength I set that to 10 as opposed to the ones on the right which are at 50 and then the rays, I set the left ray to 0.1, the left ray is there to 0.1 and the right emission strength to be 0.3 alright so that basically is it um, what I'm going to do now is just show you how we um, obtain the square um, projected light uh, if you had looked at my other tutorial how to project rectangular light um, that was before any volumetric shaders and nodes um, you'll see the principle there um, but it applies this, to this now as well um, the ability now for us to shine this light through the window frame is because of the volume uh, node and um, we have the light now out of view right so let's just see how we adjust the uh, the, the, the projected light. Um, I'm just going to select uh, this aperture here. Um, so I'm going to go into tab mode. Before you do, also make sure that your uh, pivot point is set to medium point because you're going to be adjusting the vertices which you would have had to select here in that aperture. And then I'm going to press S to scale them. And you can see immediately in the uh, viewport there that the um, uh, projected light is is too large and we just need to adjust it down to the size of the uh, base of the ray on the floor and that's what I've done um, and uh, the other way that you can actually do this as well adjusting the uh, size is by moving the area lamp up and down so you can just grab it by pressing G and Z and then manipulating it up and you'll notice in the viewport shader again uh, viewport uh, there that the um, size is reduced and if I bring it down it's enlarged but generally uh, it's easier just to adjust the uh, it's better to adjust the aperture because you might have to bring the lamp too high and, and, and the box size is too small you obviously don't want to grab uh, the box, the lamp outside of the box, it must be inside that uh, box and uh, so that's that and then um, what you also want to do is uh, be able to adjust the 
um, blur the edges of this uh, projected light and so how do we do that right if you go into if you remember the spotlight um, you'll you remember that you could adjust the size of the shadow um, and the spot shape you had the blend adjustment here uh, well with the um, area lamp you have this setting the shape is rectangle or square um, just set it to square and make sure that um, you set this um, uh, below one okay because if you put this to one here this is what happens all right now if we start at zero we get an absolutely sharp uh, edge to it um, by bringing it to 0 .00, uh, let's say 0 .002 uh, you start seeing a little bit of a fuzzy edge to it and 0 0.02 as what I set it for this uh, gives you a more uh, blurred edge um, so that's how that works um, and all of this uh, was done without any compositing still um, which is quite a good thing um, if you don't like compositing like me <laughs> alright um, it is a bit noisy but that is not too bad considering that um, this was rendered I think at 20 samples I may be wrong um, and it took about 21 minutes uh, you'll notice that I've selected instead of path tracing branched path tracing and set it to square samples I set the uh, clamping to 1 for direct and for indirect um, and this this was rendered uh, the limited global illumination was selected uh, if you want to make the uh, uh, image more dark like this then obviously direct light will give a more dramatic effect um, okay so you can see uh, the uh, shadows are quite nice there it's even reflection of the on the pot plant uh, container there and uh, some nice direct light falling onto the plant the variation of of different rays also gives it a more natural look as well guys thanks for uh, subscribing and if there's anything else that you need to know in this tutorial uh, if you're having some problems uh, any ideas let me know